I'm heard. Yeah. G'day folks, this is the Coffee Bush Kid, and I'm at Detectable in England. Well, here I am at Detectable. I've probably dug one piece of sort of shrapnel. And uh, there you go. The primer out of a bloody shoddy end. Am I going to be cursed with these all the way through? Probably. Maybe because they haven't got rivets over here. Who knows? Anyway, we'll keep going. Now the wind's picked up. Look at me hole down there. It's, oh, I don't know, a foot and a half. It's pretty deep. And you can see the irony bits around it. Yeah, bloody oath you can see the irony bits. Look at what we've, there's me boot. <laughs> oh, it's shocking. Now, I do tell you that sometimes you're not gonna believe this, and when it comes to my England bucket list, well, I've just got this. And you go, yep, that's nice. Is it a piece of flint? No, it's not. It's a piece of terracotta. But the important thing is, see those grooves? See those grooves? This is a piece of Roman hypercourse, which is what they used underneath the villas uh, to warm the place. Yeah, they had a, a fire going. Uh, the slave or bloody whatever would, would stoke this fire and it would keep the floor warm, so underfloor heating. And this is the type of tile that they used to put in there to radiate the heat around. And then it was after a piece of this. So this was just a surface find. Naturally enough, it's not metallic. We didn't detect it. And I just spotted it. I am wrapped with that. That's bloody brilliant. Let's keep going. Well, sorry about any wind noise. Stand in that hole. I got a, a thumping. 24, 25, 26. And you guessed it. What can I find on a big bloody field? A button. And this one, this one's got good writing. And we've got something on there. I don't believe it's Roman Legion, but it has been gilded. We'll give it a bit of a clean up and we'll find out what we've got. Right, you'll have to excuse the wind if it comes up. I think that's a stylized lion. Whether it's sitting on a rampart or one of the braided -y things that they put around a knight's helmet, I don't know. But it's a good one. And, <coughs> excuse me, Furman and Son. They, London, I think it says London, they are one of the, I think they're the three, one of the third oldest companies in the world to still be uh, making what they make. So they, they were making buttons, I think, from memory for, for George the First. 
So it's been gilded, gilded. Uh, it's a ripper. Anyway, we'll take that and we'll keep going. Well, I've been working that green area that you can see there all along. There's Viv over there. She's waving. I'm making a beeline for her, as you should. And I got a 10, 11, 12 signal down in the ground. And I've dug it out. And now, I, oh yes, I can. I can see where it is. Can anyone see where it is? I think that's a coin. Oh, <laughs> oh shit hot. Oh, I know what that is. Oh, you ripper. Hey, you need to come over. <clears throat> we'll wait for Viv to get here, but that, that is a hammered, hammered, I'm saying it quietly, but that's a hammered coin, ah, oh, my giddy aunt, I can't believe that, this is brilliant, here she comes, when she gets a, Little DGI thing happening. See, this is what love can do to you. I make a straight beeline for my wife, whom I love immensely. And we get that little hammered. How cool is that? All right, enough mucking around. We'll pick it up and we'll clean it off and we'll see what we've got. All right, we are back. I think because I can see a cross going there, that's a voided long cross. It has been clipped, so they've nipped pieces of silver off around the edges of it. But if you, I've been very lucky with the coins here, silver coins. If you wanted a bust on a coin, that's brilliant. That's probably an Eddie Penny. I don't know. I'll get them to verify it for me. But, you know... Some people don't find them that good. I think that's a bloody ripper. I am so lucky with that. It's amazing. Anyway, let's see what else is in the ground. I'm heard. Bloody brilliant. Well, we're back out on the field after lunch on the first day. And I've got my old jousting partner with me, Nathaniel from Nathaniel Outdoors Adventures. How you going, mate? Yes, exactly. <laughs> well, I'll pick it up. <laughs> there you go, Cobb. So, yeah, we're going to go out and swing together for the rest of the afternoon. We'll see what we find. Yep. Chap over the back there's just picked himself up a hammered. So, uh, I've got one off this field as well. So, we're in with a chance of finding more. So I reckon, mate, we should get out there. Absolutely, let's go. Well, down here. Oi, 
can't hear that. 16, 17, it's coming in at. <clears throat> and I've spotted it. Uh, there we go. I have seen it. Anyone know what that is? What about now? Now? That is a toy cannon. Unfortunately, the barrel's broken off it, but that is a toy cannon. Bloody amazing. Again, another thing on my bucket list. That might've been me. They actually used to work. So, who knows? I might find a full one, but um, we've got half a toy cannon. So that's pretty bloody neat. Well, the sun's come out and it's not bad. Here's my find. I do believe that is potentially a tutor or half a tutor spectacle buckle. It's a little bit bloody worse for wears, but I reckon that's actually what it is. So it's a cool little find. And we'll keep going. Even over here. I can't get rid of the bastards. Look at that. Oh well. I did find it. Well, first one for after lunch. It was a good 20 signal. I chased it. It was only shallow. There we go. It's probably only going to be a half penny. Oh, well, she's fairly slick. But, um. Oh. That will be a George the Fifth half penny, English one. So there we go. Can't really see a date. Be nineteen something or other. Anyway, we won't worry too much about that. But it is George. He's come out to play. There he is, and we'll keep playing too. Well, it's been slim pickings this afternoon. And when you look at this, you go, cool, half a Roman coin. This is great. No. Every half a pewter button. Bother. Anyway, we'll see what happens. We'll keep looking. We don't see that at home. They're flying the wrong way. G'day, how are you going all? Well done. Uh, yeah. Wow, second signal. Yeah. He got a thumping scanner for his first one. 
Something spanner. Oh, something spanner. Look at that. That's always a bit awesome. <laughs> That's I'm a sure it'll be maybe Henry III or John. It was actually quite And a spanner for the first one. <laughs> Awesome, man. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> right, that's the I'm not I'm not that I'm not that I'm not that I'm not that I'm not 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 This is funny. We've got day two, the merry band of, of Detectorists. We've got Nathaniel Outdoor Adventure. We've got Liam Fillimore, a chap called Paul. We've met up with Paddy Detects. Oh, we've had a bloody great time. And out of that hole there, yep, I can come halfway around the world to find a corset fastener. Yep, I got the touch everywhere. Amazing. Well, it's been a slow morning. We started all the way up there. Nathaniel got a, a half, a, a cut half hammered. Uh, Paul's still with me here. Uh, we've just come all the way up here. There is a lot of trash in the ground. A lot of rubbish, a lot of iron. But I got a 22, 23 signal and it didn't have the cut out blanky bit of ironiness around it, if you understand that terminology. Now, this was a clump. I've broken it open and Dawn, I did happen to say what was in the clumpity dump 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 to Viv and the answer would potentially be that's what's in the clumpity dump dump dump. Oh, that's got a bloody shank on it. <sighs> it's a bloody button. Oh, and what's worse, it's... I don't know, it could be an old one, could be silver plated. Oh, it's almost got something on it too. No, I think that's just scratches. Oh, I thought I was riding a winner, I thought I might have had a jet or something. But I've got a bloody button. Oh, well, still, that's the best I've got this morning. We'll keep going. Well, just in the top dressing there, I got a 12-13 signal. Now, that could be hammered. It could also be half of potentially a little cradle bell. Not sure enough, I'd like a full one, but I'll take a half. It's a little ripper. <laughs> but it'd stay still. Sort of there we go. Anyway, we will keep going. Well, from out of this hole, giving a 16, but there was little bits of gruntiness around it, but by gee, some of the buddy signals are just gruntsville. But it did do it at 90 degrees, so uh, yep, 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 this is good. And that's what we've got. Now in Australia, you'd go, yep, great, you've got yourself a coat hanger. But that... I believe would probably be medieval sword hanger off your belt. It's got some age to it, but yeah, I think that's what it is. We'll find out later on, but yeah, I'm happy to take that and we'll keep going. Well, we got... <sighs> Hole there, 15, 16. You can see how deep it is. Um, what do we want to say? Uh, probably a good, good six inches. Uh, 15, 16. So you go, oh, you know, 16, that'd, that'd be a post 46 thrippence. <clears throat> now I've located it with the pinpointer. I haven't touched it. I can tell you what that is. And it starts with 
I'm heard. Look, oop. look at how buddy's thin they are. Now, <clears throat> young Paddy detects. Uh, he and, and Griff Vines put me on to up here. I think Paddy said he got a, a Saxon hammered. So I wonder what this one's going to be. And just gently, there we go, there's the back off. Oh, I can't tell whether that's got a cross or not. So, geez, I reckon it might be Saxon. We best clean it with the squirty and see what we've got. Alrighty, here we go. So you can see, you see the writing there, but see how there's bugger all around that side? It's what they call having been clipped, where people used to just nip bits of silver off. But, uh, where are we? There he is. ED up the top, so that will be an Edward. But which one? I have no idea. But that'll be another little Eddie Penny that I found. Two little Eddie Pennies at Detectable. That's just brilliant. Very, very happy with that. Anyway, we will keep going. Look at this. This is field 10 that I'm in. There's an hour and a half to go before de September Detectable 2020 ends. And look how many people I've got to share this field with. No one. I do have Liam coming up. Uh, from Liam Fillimore. He's a fellow YouTuber. He, I've detected against him in a detecting joust. And we've both had to come to Australia, uh, from Australia to England to meet. How cool is that? Well, here it is, 10 to 6, uh, last day of Detectable. There's the gate that Liam over there, and I am going to walk out. And just there, I got a 13, 12, 13. And then it's sort of, you know, fairly solid. No bloody plip plop around it. And there it is. So we can all play the game of coin or button. All right. You know I'd be hoping for a hammered. Oh, it's light like a hammered. Well, it's still going to keep us in suspense. I think it might be. Ah, oh, there's the telltale sign. It was a button. A baton. It'll be a little smoothie. Ha, 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 ha. There we go. Still a nice find. About the same size as the buddy Eddie Penny's, but anyway. Well, we'll call it quits in that. So, that's the end of Detectable for us. We've still got more adventures in England, so... Stay, uh, stay tuned and hang on to your hat. And remember, uh, keep in mind, it's always good to fill in some of your day detecting, but remember to fill in all your holes when you're finished. And we'll catch you next time.